pKa is equal to the negative log of Ka. P means take the negative log, so pKa means take the negative log of Ka. P means take the negative log, so pKb is equal to the negative log of Kb. Also, pKa plus pKb is equal to 14. And you should notice that this formula is similar to pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So this is nothing new. As well, Kw is equal to Ka multiplied by Kb. And instead of H3O plus multiplied by OH minus, we now have Ka multiplied by Kb. Finally, we need to know that 10 to negative pKa is equal to Ka and 10 to negative pKb is equal to Kb. But instead of memorizing these formulas, we can get it from pKa and pKb. So let's look at pKa. pKa is equal to negative log of Ka. When we take the log of something and we don't specify the base, the base is assumed to be 10. Let's move the negative to the other side so we have negative pKa. And that means the negative on this side cancels out. Remember the full circle to get Ka. So 10 to negative pKa is equal to Ka and we're going in a full circle. 10 to negative pKa is equal to Ka. Let's do this practice problem. Determine the pKa of an acid if its Ka is 4.5 times 10 to negative 7. Remember that pKa is equal to a negative log of Ka. It tells us Ka is 4.5 times 10 to negative 7. So pKa is equal to a negative log of 4.5 times 10 to negative 7. Do this in your calculator and you get pKa is equal to 6.35. We have two sig digs from 4.5 and sig digs only apply to the decimal numbers for pKa or pKb. So that's why we have two decimal numbers. And this is a similar rule that applies to pH and pOH. Let's try this problem. Determine Ka if the pKa of an acid is 2.81. We can get Ka from the pKa formulas. Remember that pKa is equal to a negative log of Ka. First, we move the negative to the other side. When we take the log of something and we don't specify the base, the base is assumed to be 10. 10 to negative pKa is equal to Ka. So we have 10 to negative pKa is equal to Ka. It tells us that pKa is 2.81. So let's plug that in. 10 to the negative 2.81 is equal to Ka. Do this in your calculator and you get Ka is equal to 1.5 times 10 to negative 3. We have two decimal numbers from pKa. So that means we have two sig digs. Let's do this next problem. Determine the Kb of a hydrogen sulfate ion. Ka is equal to 1.0 times 10 to negative 2. So there's two ways we can get Kb. If we have pKb, but we don't have pKb, so we need to get Kb from Kw is equal to Ka multiplied by Kb. We need Kb, so let's isolate Kb. So we're going to divide Ka by Ka. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do other. So Kw divided by Ka. And you should see that Ka divided by Ka cancel out. So we're left with Kw divided by Ka is equal to Kb. Kw is the water ionization constant. It's in our data booklet. It's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And we're going to divide this by Ka, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2. When you do that in your calculator, you get Kb is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 12, and this will be the answer. Let's tackle this problem. If the pKa of an acid is 6.50, determine its Kb. We can get Kb from pKb, or we can get it from Kw is equal to Ka multiplied by Kb. We don't have Ka, but we have pKa. Remember that pKa plus pKb is equal to 14. We're looking for pKb, so let's isolate for pKb. We need to subtract pKa on this side. Whatever you do to one side, we have to do the other. And positive pK and negative pK cancel out. So we're left with pKb is equal to 14 minus pKa. It tells us the pK is 6.50. So that means pKb is equal to 14 minus 6.50. Do this in your calculator or in your head and you get pKb is equal to 7.50. With pKb, we can get Kb. Remember the full circle to get Kb. So 10 to negative pKb is equal to Kb. pKb is 7.50. So 10 to negative 7.50 will get us Kb. Do this in your calculator and you get the Kb is equal to 3.2 times 10 to negative 8. pKb has two decimal numbers, so we have two sig digs. Let's conquer this last problem. Determine the pKb if a hydrogen carbonate ion, Ka, is equal to 4.7 times 10 to negative 11. So to get pKb, we're going to need Kb. And we can get Kb from the formula. Kw is equal to Ka multiplied by Kb. We're looking for Kb, so let's isolate Kb. We need to divide Ka by Ka. Whatever we do to one side, we need to do the other. So Kw will also be divided by Ka. And Ka divided by Ka cancel out. So we're left with Kw divided by Ka is equal to Kb. Kw is a water ionization constant and it is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. We're going to divide this by Ka, which is 4.7 times 10 to negative 11. Do that in your calculator and you get that Kb is equal to 2.1 times 10 to negative 4. With Kb, we can get pKb now. Remember that pKb is equal to the negative log of Kb. So pKb is equal to the negative log of 2.1 times 10 to negative 4. 
Do this in your calculator and you get that PKB is equal to 3.67. We have two sig digs from KB, 2.1, and the sig digs only apply to the decimal numbers for PKB and PKA, so that's why we have two decimal numbers. This is what I like to call remember notes. If you remember and understand everything on this page, you should be able to calculate PKA, PKB, KA, and KB.